What's good, Internet? Welcome back to Grim. Today, guys, we're going to be taking a look at a dude who has just simply thrown away his whole life just to gambling for no reason. Well, hopefully I'm over-exaggerating here. It's probably not that bad, right? Let's see. When I was 20, gambling became an addiction and no longer a hobby. In January of 2017, I realized that my gambling was completely out of control. I am down $60,000. Okay, <laughs> I take that back. This dude has lost a very, very nice car's worth of money gambling. Like that could have been a Tesla easily. Yeah, he's pretty much screwed. How do you even lose that much and continue to want to do it? That's what I'm wondering. If I lose more than like $200, I'm straight out of that casino, man. Plus, you know what they say, the house always wins, so you're always gonna come out just losing money. It's very easy to gamble. I can gamble on an app. I can gamble on multiple websites. But I would say for the most part, I do like to go play at the casinos. Oh, it's honestly so cringy that this dude loves gambling so much. Like, I don't understand. Anyways, one sec, guys. I gotta go open 100 Apex Legends packs. Be right back. The last time I gambled was 12 days ago, two years after the darkest hole in, in my gambling career. I'm still in the exact same place. That would suck quite a bit to realize in two years that you've just continued the addiction and not gotten any help whatsoever to better your situation. And no matter how much you've won since then, you're still in debt about $60,000, which is astronomical and would probably take a lifetime to pay off for most people. When Sarah got pregnant with the twins, I was completely ecstatic. We had our twins for roughly four months before we found out that we were pregnant again. My addiction with gambling definitely takes away from any thought of ever giving money to Sarah and helping out with the boys. All I think about is playing poker. Yeah, that's a big yikes. <laughs> this dude just admitted the fact that he has no interest at all in helping out his family or his girlfriend with their three kids that they just had, which I would assume are incredibly expensive to be raising at this point. And instead, he's just like, yeah, screw you, hon. I'm going to go uh, hit the uh, casino, you know? Daddy's winning big tonight. <laughs> Currently, the boys stay with Sarah at her parents' house, and I live at my parents' house. I stay in the basement. That there is what I have to walk through to get through my room. So this dude is in his mid-20s, living in his parents' basement, gambling every single night, while his poor girlfriend lives at her parents' place, raising their three infant boys without any of his help. Yeah, this dude is a really good guy, I can tell already. Oh, also, did you guys see that picture of his living situation? Um, can you tell me why it looks like he's living in Asmongold's lair? Come on, man. You have to get a grip on your life. Like, that is not a good look. My dad pays all the bills. I live rent-free. There is absolutely nothing required from me. AKA, I'm a man-child and my parents are enablers. Good thing I don't have to pay rent, so any income I might have can go to my family that I'm trying to support. Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> oh, I forgot I lose it all week after week playing Texas Hold'em at the casino. That's right, I totally forgot I was a gambling addict. My bad. Staying in the basement of my parents' house is rock bottom. It's just a rut that I just can't seem to get out of. So now he's playing the victim card. Man, woe is me. I'm just stuck in this rut and I can't get out of it. Stuck in my parents' basement gambling every night. I wish I could just not go to the casino and gamble and maybe uninstall my gambling apps as well. When will the world give me a break, man? Well, my mom and I don't argue a lot, but we don't get along. I am pretty uncomfortable over at Sarah's house. Her older sister and I have a very different relationship. She won't speak to me. It's definitely taken a toll on me being a father. God, I wonder why the sister is so rude to him. She's probably just being judgmental. I mean, you're over there living at your parents, gambling every night, while she probably sees daily how stressed and sad her younger sister is at the fact that she has to raise basically triplets as they had twins and then another very shortly afterwards. And none of them are even two years old yet. And the fact that she had them was such a sorry loser and poor excuse of a father just rubs extra salt in the wound, honestly. But nah, man, keep using that older sister as an excuse. It's probably all her fault you're a terrible father, right? I have stolen money from family and friends. Sarah actually had a purse. She had $3,000 cash in there and I stole that. It's something that we've never talked about. Okay, so being an absent father and a gambling addict aside and all the other bad character traits of this guy, he is just proving more and more with each sentence how big of a scumbag he actually is. Yeah, my girl had a purse with 3,000 cash inside it. I stole it from her and we really haven't talked about it, so I think we're chill. Kind of just hoping we can sweep it under the rug at this point. <laughs> What I want to know really is how quickly he lost that $3,000. I mean, with how vigorously he gambles, I'm assuming that was all probably lost within a couple of hours. Also, what business does anyone, let alone his girlfriend, have carrying $3,000 in cash in your purse? I mean, unless you're a SoundCloud rapper or something. That is just so risky, especially when you know your scumbag boyfriend is a gambling addict that has stolen from family in the past. Come on, lady, you gotta have some common sense here at least. When I look at my kids, it takes a huge toll on me as a father and 
makes me very depressed. I feel very, very bad for what I've done to these kids. Well, at least he realizes how scummy he's been to his family. <laughs> I know addiction is tough to deal with, but like in any capacity, and I've probably been a little insensitive, as I can imagine being hooked on gambling is a very tough thing to deal with, but it is nice to see that at least he knows he's in the wrong here. Let's take a look at what some others in his family think of the situation. My brother John has a terrible gambling addiction. To make things worse, John has three little boys, all under 15 months. His girlfriend Sarah and the boys live with her parents, and John lives in my sister's basement. So real quick, I just showed you guys that so you know who's talking. The bigger guy you saw first is his brother, and the other lady is his aunt. On with the video. Pretty messy. This is actually cleaner than it has been. It reeks when it rains, it floods. As you can see, the floor is wet. It's pretty disgusting. It is a dilapidated, terrible place. Wow, here's another live look at his living quarters. <laughs> and man, that must be depressing to go home to instead of your big family that you've just started. I mean, for Pete's sake, the carpet gets wet because it floods whenever rain happens. That cannot be healthy to be living in. He probably has mildew all over. And man, he's got his soda cans all stacked up everywhere, making it look like a total pigsty. I think this guy just really doesn't have any self-respect left after losing all this money, and he's just kind of given up. But honestly, I don't really blame him, as if I was 50 grand in the hole, or 60 grand actually, I'd kind of just shut down mentally and physically too. John has a complete safety net in my parents' home. My sister is absolutely enabling him. Mom cooks and cleans for him, washes his clothes, dad takes him to the bar, gives him spending money, provides him with gambling money. The list is endless. So here the brother admits that the dude it basically just gets the free load off his parents, even though he's well into his adulthood. I gotta remind you guys, he's 25, so he's not like he's a kid anymore. I guess he probably wouldn't have gotten as bad as he is had they not been like that with him, so it is the parents' fault as well. So for one, <laughs> I do sense some serious resentment from this brother, which is kind of funny to me. You can tell he's salty that he doesn't get the same amount of adult baby treatment that his brother gets, but how ridiculous is that? His mom lives as a basically live-in maid for him and a chef, and even though they don't charge him for rent, doesn't mean they need to give him more money on top of that. There's being a loving parent, and then there's also just being recklessly supportive. His dad gives him money to gamble with. Like, how messed up is that? Do they not know that he is in over his head by $60,000 in debt? Like, that is astronomical, like I said. John is completely broke and unable to provide for these babies. John sold the car last week. He said he needed a bigger car for his family. But instead, John went and gambled the money away. Wow, that is a bold move from this dude. <laughs> Sells his freaking car and then tells everyone it's so that he can start providing for his family and get a nicer, bigger car. But nah, he just used that money to play poker. <laughs> Yikes, man. So guys, real quick, I have a super fast challenge that only takes five seconds to complete. So if you can leave a like and subscribe within the next five seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just give it a try, it really works. This man needs to get a job, stop freeloading, and start being responsible for those children. He doesn't have any motivation to work. Why would he? He has the world handed to him at my parents' home. More salt here, but also more realness from the brother, as that's true, I mean, as bad as it is to say, when you're in a situation like this guy, it would be pretty hard to be motivated and maintain that motivation to work, as even when you're not working, you're still getting money from your parents and food on the table, as well as someone to wash your clothes and clean for you. It's kind of sad what his parents have allowed him to do, which is basically become a bum in his mid-twenties, which is not okay, seeing as he has three newborns to worry about, and those are the people he should be parenting, not himself. John lives in a deep black hole, where it's him and him only. This is definitely where I spend most of my time, it's isolating myself from my problems. Wow, that was a very depressing little clip. <laughs> you can tell this dude is just as bummed about the situation as everyone else, but apparently not bummed enough to actually make a change, and I feel that honestly. <laughs> so as you can see, pretty much everyone around this guy and his girlfriend are just totally sick of the way that they act. I can see why, as I mean, they're both headed down such a bad road. She keeps enabling him, and so do his parents. And yeah, it's just a bad situation all around. Yeah, this dude is just not going to be able to be a good father anytime soon, unless he gets some serious help, you guys. I mean, he's probably just going to start selling their strollers and other children's stuff for gambling money. He literally lives in his parents' basement that is flooded half the time. And if his girlfriend lets him move back in with her at her parents' place, that could just be a bad situation all around. And I'm not even going to get into the part where he is on the show with Dr. Phil because it's honestly pretty boring and there's not much to say about it. It's very simple, this guy has a serious problem and needs to be watched over and have some serious counseling. I mean, if this continues, I don't know how much longer his girlfriend will put up with that stuff. I don't see how she's stuck around so far, but maybe she just has faith that he's gonna work it out. His parents will probably continue to have his back, as from what I've seen, they love him regardless, and just allow him to continue to be his worst self by giving him a place to stay 
month rent free and cooking for him as well as giving him money to go gamble with for some reason and to continue his addiction with. Such a weird, weird dynamic, but honestly guys, that's about it for today. Let me know what you thought down in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you thought on this story. Hopefully none of you guys are gambling addicts as I'm guessing you probably don't have any money. I'll be sure to catch you guys in the next one and peace out.